Hey guys, this is just a quick update video to video 34. A couple of you guys actually brought up that you ran into some problems with uh, the Vulcan object shader not being able to create buffers. And um, that is with uh, this buffer here and this one here. The issue is that these were uh, being created with a requirement of host visible as well as device local memory. And as it turns out, not every device supports that combination. So um, just a little bit of clarification. Typically, you'd want to use uh, device local for quicker reads. So if we have that available, um, we are going to want to use it uh, for this global uniform object. Uh, but we really don't need it for this uniform, um, this object uniform buffer, right? Uh, because this is updated every single frame. This eventually uh, will not be, potentially. Uh, but since this one's updated so often, it doesn't really matter. So um, we had uh, this in here, right? Um, we can actually just remove this device local bit from that list, right? So all we should have is host visible and host coherent, okay? Same is true up here for uh, the global one. However, uh, we're actually going to do a little bit of feature detection to determine if the device supports this, because in this case, if the device does support it, we want to go ahead and use it. Uh, so what we've done here is we've added a Boolean to the device to, to say uh, supports device local host visible. And if that is true, it'll go ahead and set this U32 here to uh, memory property device local bit, which uh, equates to one. Otherwise, it'll set it to zero. And then we OR that into this, right? So if the device does not support it, uh, this basically just ORs it against zero and does nothing. Um, otherwise, uh, we go ahead and OR this in there if the device supports it. So to add the support, I made a quick change to Vulcan device.c. So in our select physical device, we already have the memory section here available. Uh, we start off assuming that it's not supported. We loop through each of the memory types. We check the property flags of that type against both host visible and device local memory. So if both of these are supported on a single type, then we go ahead and flip this flag to true. And then a little bit further down in the file, we go ahead and save that off to the device. Uh, for reference, uh, that is added to the Vulkan device here in Vulkan types INL, okay? So if we support that, we'll go ahead and use the feature. If we don't support it, then we won't, okay? So uh, that's all there is for this video. It's just a quick little fix. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.